The world around us is getting smarter. We need our energy generation to get smarter too. Soon our lives will be controlled by 75 billion devices by 2030. Those devices are Internet of Things, wireless devices, sensors connected to everything possible in every room. They need to be powered and the best way to power things is light because it's everywhere and it's the only form of energy we can see. Batteries are useful in plenty of applications where you want to power a particular device uh, for a certain amount of time. Also, batteries need to be recycled or should be recycled, but currently this is not the case. 90% of batteries are ending up in the landfill. So if you have an application where you don't want to have to continuously change a battery, you might have something that's out of reach or you want continuous power supply, then we have a, an alternative solution that can power that continuously. Dyson Satai Solar Cells are the most efficient photovoltaic technology for indoor applications. More efficient than silicon or gallium arsenide. We're making systems that are easy to scale up. They're cheap to make continuously. They use a form of printable technology which harvests light under ambient conditions as well as in direct sunlight. And because they can be produced on a range of different substrates, particularly metal foils or plastics, they can be integrated directly into portable electronics or even building materials. Dyson Satellite Solar Cells are very exciting technologies. It's a beautiful playground for any chemist because on the molecular level we can change and tune every component of this photovoltaic. The things that we can do here that we can't do elsewhere is have the combination of skills that we need. So from making um, inorganic materials to characterizing them using state-of-the-art techniques, working with colleagues to develop new types of dyes to capture light effectively, and then really advanced spectroscopy so that we can monitor all the processes that happen within the device over all of the timescales that they operate. And that gives us real insight so that we can make our materials better and then make our devices better. So if you're interested in joining us in finding new ways and new solutions to apply sunlight in powering new smart technology and solving the challenge of clean and affordable energy, then get in touch.